the MG HS mid-sized SUV. More space, more safety tech with MG Pilot and more peace of mind. All from only $29,990 drive away. The MG HS, it's the more you've been looking for. On air, online and on your smart speaker. Budget cool trucks have arrived. Refrigerated trucks and tippers for hire. Hit News Briefing. Hi there, I'm Ann Stone. A huge boost for AFL fans in Tasmania. It's been confirmed Hobart is getting a new stadium. The federal government has announced $240 million in funding, which will go towards the project as well as the surrounding precinct. Tasmanians will uh, gather here. Uh, this will be a place of uh, great enjoyment, uh, reflection. Uh, there will be Tasmanians uh, that set up small businesses here. And that's Tassie Premier Jeremy Rockliffe. The family of an Aussie uni student seriously ill in Taiwan has raised enough money to bring him home. 24-year-old Alex Shorey from Queensland fell ill a month ago after accidentally eating rat poison. A medical evacuation flight will now bring him to Sydney for specialist treatment. An Australian man accused of going on a nude and drunken rampage in Indonesia says his actions were totally out of character. 23-year-old Bodhi Marty Risby jones is now facing up to five years jail. I feel like not myself. Like, almost possessed. Yes. Um, it was not a good feeling. Coastal areas of southern New South Wales are on alert with heavy rain on the way. A storm front's expected to hit later tonight with possible rainfall of up to 120 millimetres along with damaging winds. A Dutch court has ordered a 41-year-old man who's fathered between 500 and 600 children around the world to stop donating sperm. And people in the UK whose names either Charles or Camilla are being offered a string of freebies and deals by companies looking to cash in on King Charles's coronation next weekend. Cosentino can help make it your dream home. Bring yours to life with their low silica surfaces with Silestone and Decton. Find out more at Cosentino.com. In a bid to further expand the NRL, Chairman Peter Volandes has hinted at introducing a second Victorian team to the competition. The league wants to increase the number of participating teams to 20 by the year 2032. Round 9 action continues today. The Raiders taking on the Dolphins at halftime. Canberra leading 22 to 12. Next up, it's the Sea Eagles and Titans and the Panthers and West Tigers. The Tigers are struggling at the bottom of the ladder. The coach Tim Sheen says they're running with a game by game mentality at the moment. <laughs> chance of a shower, maybe a storm tonight across central Queensland. Tomorrow, clear skies, a top of 28 degrees. And it's the daily stories that matter in under 20 minutes. Search the briefing podcast on Listener. Download the app now and listen for free.